Hello, hi guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mbuisa Lovilayazi. They call me his royalty as well. Other royalties love to be served. This royalty here serves the best in January too. We often time report and commentary, and we also review some of your favorite reality shows. And currently, I'm reviewing The Real Housewives of Cape Town. And first of all, I would like to apologize. On Sunday, I was supposed to upload a, a review. Unfortunately, it could not be um, uploaded. Honestly, guys, um, I've been trying also to make means um, to actually upload it. Uh, I actually recorded with a friend of mine because I wanted to bring someone in. You know, I've been reviewing, but it's so great to bring another person in to, and, to, and, and for me to actually get another person's perspective on things. Um, as much as I'd like to believe I'm objective, but it's, so, it's amazing to have another person. But that could not happen. And this week I've been making many 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 efforts of actually recording and they've been not succeeding but if you see this video just know that i made it and i believe god was trying to teach me something i do not know what it is but i'd like to believe um i was uh, there is a lesson in everything sometimes we are taught that things do not always the way that we want but when they happen they will happen so i believe there, there is a list a lesson behind everything um and now guys let us discuss what was happening on episode eight on sunday but before that ladies thank you so much now you are showing up even though i believe it's late but um it's i think it's never late hey it's quite late but it's never late why am i saying that i'm just saying that because very soon i think that's going to be the reunion right now in episode eight and now it's only right now when the ladies are really showing up and it's episode eight and my fear is like you know when you when you like oh my god when we are going to begin to binge is when the ladies are they will have to there'll be a reunion and it'll be over so but most of all i'd like to believe in in season two it'll be much better because the ladies i'd like to believe they would have already forged relationships forged relationships and created um um you know great relationships from this um season so that next season it, everything is much more better you know they don't have to begin and try to um know each other and by the way um to the producers i'd like to believe next it would be so amazing if next season you bring in um people who are going to be friends of the show you know um because yes we need someone who's going to come from time to time and just you know bring some flavor amongst the ladies and we do need someone like that you know if you watch the housewives of atlanta that would be like your malo hampton when she when when she was not the full-time cast you do need those people you know from time to time and that the, and um yeah, that's all. And I also what I would advise also the, the 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 production, they must also do some sort of trials. Um you are able to most most what you know what makes um US productions work well is because they have some have some sort of a trial, they bring people, maybe they would have um trial um episodes two episodes they're not gonna show us but they're gonna record with those ladies until they see who is most comfortable in the camera but they can they can also um show us that and try to bring different people and see which personality is able to fit in and blend well amongst the ladies so they need to try out different people until they find the people that they believe are great for the show and they're going to bring value to the show but other than that we are grateful now now let's get on to episode eight episode eight um what we saw we saw mrs leo sitting down with beverly they're having a conversation just just catching up about about everything they're in clermont hello clermont i love clermont it's a small town in the western cape and they are just having a beautiful conversation but now um now mrs leo begins to ask beverly where are you and tado right now you know and beverly saying you know what? i've actually reached out to her and i've apologized and i'm saying you know what we ha we, actually, we actually have to hash out our problems so that our friendship can be restored okay and i'd like to believe um there are prospects of their friendship being restored but because honestly both of them i no one is perfect amongst them no i'm not saying someone should be perfect but both of them has, have actually betrayed each other but hey beverly started <laughs> i think beverly started i think tato is just retaliating right now from what beverly has already started or rather started okay now um while at that and you know mrs leo is telling beverly hey there's we've been invited in this uh party vv party <laughs> um and so apparently beverly is not invited she did not get an invite so i believe tato was like you know what one thing about tato i need to give credits to tato tato is like a mini director 
Tato is responsible for 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 most good moments in this season. This is what I, I would advise also. The sitting arrangement or the sitting charts when it's um a, when it's the when it's the reunion, Tata deserves the the seat next to the host because it means sit each seat represents how you contributed. If you're sitting there by the end, it means that's how much you you contributed. Sometimes not per se, but Tato has secured her space in the front row. So Tato is always bringing some spice. Even sometimes, even, even if she's unreasonable, and sometimes her arguments don't make any logic, but I believe she has created some historic moments um, for us. Now, and so, and then from there, we saw we saw um, Tato having a conversation with Ruxi. Ruxi invited Tato in, and apparently what happened is that the ladies were out, and Mohammed, who is, I'd like to believe, the ex um Bo not boyfriend partner of um a partner of Tato part or rather partner of Tato what English where which English am I getting where did I get this English from but Tato's um ex partner and um so now apparently he was very abusive and physical um with Tato and now Tato is, has left the relationship and she was just saying you know what I'm actually even looking for a new place I'm ready to move on hey I'm actually happy for Tato that she's moved on I'm just wondering will she have realized that she's in an abusive relationship had it not been for the show because I think her coming to the show it's when it brought some sort of um, an awakening to her that you're not actually I am being abused hmm and she's been very defensive about this and and we understand most people who are going through abuse become very defensive of certain things. But also, again, the abuse is alleged. I'm not going to lie to you. It's alleged abuse because at the end of the day, guys, um, we live in South Africa. Someone is presumed to be innocent until they are proven guilty. Now, uh, another scene that we saw, we saw Ru Ru Rushda, um, they were in Camps Bay with, um, with um, Lou. Lou mommy. So and Lou basically um Rushda, I think Rushda felt in her heart that you know what I I need to make Lou feel welcomed, you know. I need to it's so hard for her to feel some to be integrated with the group right now, especially she came in very late and I'm um, so she's just feeling like oh, okay, she feels some sort of like left or rather she feels kind of left out. But um, I love that Rushta is able to accommodate her. And while at that, um, Rushta and uh, Louis saying, you know what, I want to invite the ladies and, um, in, and, in my space. But what would you recommend I do for the ladies? And uh, Rushta was like, I think she said spa treatment or something like that. And I would, I would say, child, that's, that's very cliche. Um, that's very cliche. Lou, mommy, well, episodes have been recorded, but I believe she, she must try something new. Um, I can't wait to see what is it that she needs to try. She's from Kylie Chaman. She should give the ladies an experience of the township. Okay? We're of the township. I've never been to, to Kylie Chaman myself. It would be amazing to, to witness um, the ladies being taken um, to, to, to a, a different um, environment, honestly. Because things like massage, our... Because those things are so cliche and whine and then they're gonna fight and then ha, da, 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 someone walks out all those things but then um we saw also um rushta inviting um lumami to a photo shoot and the photo shoot was a success there was also rushta they what makes rushta and lumami very relate at this point is they, they are cosa ladies you know they have heard them speak in this uh in a live um with uh, pamela mtanga and they were just thinking about what makes us relate so much is that we are cosa ladies and the rooks is like okay tell me something why were you crying there because we saw now um in the in that dinner that was hosted by by camilla uh, she was actually crying because she saw uh, mrs leo crying and she also began to cry and she's like why are you crying one thing about uh, ruxi ruxi is i said this on twitter low-key iconic rux is not one of those people that are gonna say like uh, big things but there, there are just certain things that she says like okay okay i give it to you she's low-key iconic um, her, confrontal, her confrontational nature, even though I'm a, I'm a bit concerned sometimes because it must not get too physical, If I'm, but I hope it does not get physical. I'm always afraid when there are people who are very confrontational because sometimes it can even get physical and we don't want it to get to that stage. And also, I had Rushta um, accusing Camila, basically she's accusing Camila of being two-faced. She's saying, 
oh Camilla, um, you dealt with um, title not that they were not they were not really having conversation, but this is what she said in her confessionals. She said, um, Camilla did a, a wrong thing by actually um, reprimanding Tato and not reprimanding um, Beverly. Hey, that's a, that's a good thing that you're saying, um, Rooster. But again, you cannot control how a person chooses to react to something. And the fact that probably Camilla is still quiet, I hope she still addresses it. Um, on during uh, the le the episodes that are left, she still addresses Beverly. Be so I understand that we should be trying to say, okay, let there be equality. But at the same time, I feel I'm I'm that person who's like, okay, I cannot force a person because I I wanted them to be angry in that moment. I cannot force them to do that because I believe that is the right thing. People process emotions differently. But it would be amazing. I would, I'm, I'm looking forward to see how Camilla will actually deal with Beverly in the nearby future, okay? And also now, another scene that we saw, um, guys, was um, Kate Tato went to, uh, basically we call it window shopping. She went, she's looking for a new place. She was having a conversation with the agent. And the agent was like, the house, the the, upper, the, the penthouse, like from 10 million to 14 million. And she's like, ah, no, it's not mine because um, it's in town. There's noise and I'm like, child. Child, don't lie. Don't lie. Just say it. it's expensive. <laughs> it's expensive. Cape Town is expensive. Just say that. Not that. Ah, no, I don't like it. It's not my taste. It's expensive. Go get something cheap. Go get something cheap. <laughs> I wanted to say that. Hey. And, and, and then um, we also saw um, Tato herself and Camila. They went to buy um, the cakes. Uh, what cakes with, with cakes with nipples and whatnot that was amazing um to watch and so and after that um after that camilla invite um invites tato and mrs leo i like what they're doing by the way the producers and the production because they're trying to say you see sometimes you see perfectly with this person um you see camilla with this person you see like they're trying to alternate you understand they're trying to alternate okay be with this person be with this person i guess it's also a great way of checking chemistry with people so to see if chemistry is working out for example we saw lou and rooster right and then um so uh what we saw after that uh, child, let me check my notes <laughs> okay um camilla uh invites okay now i'm feeling way way better i'm i'm feeling way way better than i was when i started recording this video because i as I told you, there's a lot that um, took for me to record this video. So I'm feeling way, way better. I can feel even right now, I'm feeling way, way better. So um, Camilla invites Tato and Mrs. Leo to the Cape Town City Ballet. Um, I, I, though I believe those just as a prestigious event and there are awards there. And um, now Mrs. Leo and Tato, guys, they are now fixing their eyelashes on the table. Guys, ah, awa, 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 what you? By the way, and Tato said this is an old age home. <laughs> the shade, the shade. Old age people have money, Tato. She should scout for it. She should, she, she should have been there looking for a new husband um, or a new partner after Mohammed <laughs> and not looking at their age. And then they went to the bathroom and they were having a conversation and Tato was confronting her about Mrs. Leo about um about what what what, what was happening in um okay, but rather what's happening between Mrs. Leo and Ruxi about the whole that Mrs. Mrs. Leo did not attend um I feel like that storyline is dragged. Uh, and but Mrs. Leo's tone was very under uh, was very condescending when she said, um, listen, um there was someone who spoke about me who's not in my level. That mm, red flag. Again she said, even let me tell you something, even these ladies, no one is worthy of me speaking about them. Mm. That's also wrong. That's also wrong. Like the very condescending tone. Mm. Okay. Then again, that we saw Tato is, is hosting a party. The ladies are coming in. They're all looking nice, and I like Tato's new, uh, you know, new temporary place. Everyone is coming in. Lou is in, and they then they okay. Well, at that, and we saw Tato. Um, so Tato's like, you guys must drink my, my wine, uh, uh, Tato wines. I, 
and then I think I think it's Kamil who said, "Okay, <laughs> is this punch, um, punch, <laughs> or or water?" People kept on saying, "Okay, that's." I think someone also drank it and was like, "Okay, this this tastes very bad." And then Tata was like, "No, no, no, that's actually for decoration." She changed their mind. She was like, "Drink my wine," and then she says, "No, it's actually for decoration." I'm like, "Ah, Tato, <laughs> yo, I mean, you know what the danger is, Tato." I think Tato was like, "Oh my god." Oh my, <laughs> I'm actually, I, that, that moment was very funny. She was like, she just changed her mind. Like, no, 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 it's just for decoration. Hey, the same just saying, people must drink her wine. You know, I feel like ladies, I, I feel like ladies should have also supported her shame. They should have like, okay, oh, let's drink, you know, Tato's wine. Hey. And um, again, uh, what else was interesting now, they were doing yoga outside and, so Lou is seated next to the cliff uh, and then she's saying, oh, I'm scared that I'm very full. And uh, oh, by the way, the lady who was facilitating um, the whole yoga session, she said she's lady something, lady what was, lady Denberry. <laughs> I'm joking, she was not lady Denberry, but, um, and she wanted to be addressed as lady. And so Lou is like, hey, I'm, I'm scared that I may fall here. And um, Tat is like, yeah, but Veli, what are you wearing there? What not? You should have not worn that. I, I told you guys, wear something comfortable. I feel like it was wrong for Tat to call her out like that, especially other people were also wearing quite similar stuff, you know. Um, and Mrs. Claire is like, ah, we are old. We don't want to be showing our bums on TV and whatnot. Okay, now let us discuss another element. Um, now Lou started was like, yeah, I'm tired. Um, and she goes... In, inside the house and uh, Mrs. Leo joins her, they started to gossip about um, potato. They open drinks for themselves and whatnot. This, I'm gonna say this. I feel like Lou must not overcompensate. I feel like at this point she's overcompensating for the fact that she's not been here. And now she's like, what can I do that, what's gonna make me stand out? Sometimes, you know, less is more, you know? Sometimes less is more. And I feel like right now she's trying to find those moments, diva moments, you understand? As much as yes, Tato is wrong and, you know, you are funet kanekagubi man, you don't want her to, um, to walk over you just anyhow. But at the same time, hey, 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 you understand? Um, there was no need for all the drama, but Tato herself is also very dramatic. She was like, and Mrs. and and Lou, she was like, leave the house and, oh, all the all the drama. But another thing that I wanted to say, I believe Lou is an amazing person. I will say this. You know where the danger is? The danger is Mrs. Leo. Mrs. Leo, I believe, is the one who briefed Lou many things uh, about the cast members, and when she came in the picture, she's already. She's like, I know your dirty laundry, guys. I've heard a lot of things about you. Again, guys, I can't wait to see next episode. Um, we will see Tato saying, uh, by the way, your husband is sleeping around. I told you the tea spilled when I was starting this video. So I'm not saying, no, no, not just regard every, you know what, disregard everything that I've said. But try some of the tea. That is feeling right now in the housewives. It's things that I've had in the streets. Because you know me, I'm doing the housewives of Cape Town. I get the tea from the people first. Like, hey, hey. I'm like, huh? Hey, hey. So I'm glad that some of the things I have been told are now going to come out. No, not maybe not the Tata thing. But things are now coming out that I've been told in the streets. I'm not... Well, thank you so much, guys, for taking your time to join me. I really appreciate and I feel extremely better. I feel extremely better. It's, it's been a very hard week for me, especially with regards to the Housewives of Cape Town, because I love my work. May God bless you. Salute.